everyone, my name is Elna. I'm a librarian with the Cockeysville Library. Thank you for joining us for the Around the World program, inspired by the National Geographic books that I found at the library. Today, we're gonna learn a few interesting facts about a country, and then afterwards, we're going to do a fun activity. Here are five words that describe the country we're visiting today. See if you can guess where we're going. Rainforests, mountains, llamas, Amazon, and Incas. Where do you think we're going? If you guessed Peru, then you're correct. We're heading down to South America to visit Peru. Let's get going. Peru is located in South America. South America is home to the largest tropical rainforest in the world. The rainforest is home to half of the plants and animals in the world. In just two acres of the Amazon rainforest, it contains over 300 different types of trees. The population of Peru is over 30 million people. The capital of Peru is Lima. The official languages of Peru are Spanish and Quechua. A common way to say hello in Spanish is hola, and a common way to say hello, how are you, in Quechua is Ayanchu. Peru is home to many ancient cultures and mysteries. Its civilization dates as far back as 200 BC. Most famous are the ancient Incas. The Incas were a civilization that ruled for over a hundred years. They built a place called Machu Picchu, or Lost City of the Incas. It is one of the seven wonders of the world and it lives high above in the Andes Mountains. Did you know that no wheels were used to transport the heavy rocks to build this city? Pastuso is the Peruvian name of Paddington Bear, or the friendly bear from darkest Peru. This classic tale from children's literature tells the story of how Pastuso was found in London's Paddington Station and adopted by the Brown family, giving him his name Paddington. The Incas used the positions of the sun, the moon, the stars, and planets to mark dates on their calendar and to know what the season was. For our activity today, we're gonna to be making a sundial. We will create a device that uses the position of the sun to tell time. I found this activity in a book from the library. It's called Inca, Discover the Culture and Geography of a Lost Civilization with 25 projects. So let's head outside and make our sundial. There are many ways to tell time today. You can use a wristwatch, a wall clock, or a cell phone. But before all of that existed, there was the sundial. The sundial is the oldest form of telling time. In this craft, we will create a paper plate sundial to understand how the sun and shadows from the sun was used to tell time. Choose a day when you plan to be home for a few hours. Remember, a sundial only tells time during sunny hours. Step 1 Materials You will need a paper plate. A gnomon is any type of stick that will help cast a shadow from the sun. A stick, pencil, or a straw will work. You'll need some tape, a ruler, crayons and a marker. Most importantly, you need a sunny day. Step 2. Preparing the sundial. Start making the sundial before 12 noon. Get your paper plate. The front of the sundial will be the back part of the paper plate. Poke a hole in the center of the paper plate with a sharpened pencil. Write the number 12 on the edge of the plate. Draw a straight line from the 12 to the center of the plate.
Step 3. Starting the sundial at noon. Before 12 noon, go outside and find a sunny spot. Choose your gnomon with either a stick, a straw, or a pencil. Place the gnomon in the center of the plate. Attach it with some tape. Step 4. Marking the sundial and keeping time. Tilt the gnomon a little bit towards the 12 and the line. Here is the shadow that you will follow. At 12 noon, rotate the plate until the shadow is in line with the number 12. Tape down the plate so it doesn't move. Set an alarm and return at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m., mark the number 1 on the shadow. Continue every hour to mark the time. Here is a time lapse of the shadow moving from 12 noon to 2 p.m. on the sundial. In the end, your sundial may look like this. If you would like to continue in the morning, make sure your sundial stays in the same place. Well, thank you for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about Peru, please check out some of the great books that we have at the library. Also, please check out the library's website for more fun activities. Until we travel again, goodbye.